Today I'm going to teach you how to use the target reference points, or TRPs, to expedite the plotting of single waypoint missile trajectories. This should be a pretty quick one. There is one target ship sitting behind the large asteroid over to port, which we can't see currently because it's in the radar shadow. Fortunately, we have a scout corvette with us, the ANS Eye of Aster. Scout ships are fast, stealthy, and have long radar range, which makes them ideal for spotting targets. This allows us to keep our shooters concealed, or at least at a much further range than they otherwise would be, and thus safer while they fire on the enemy. You may have noticed that many of your weapons ranges are longer than your sensor ranges, making scout ships absolutely critical for maximizing the utility of your weapons. For the sake of this lesson, we'll leave the ANS Dusty Tome where it is. Let's start by getting our scout into position, so it can spot the enemy and relay targeting data to our shooter. Move the ANS Eye of Aster over the point atlas so it can get a track on this target ship. At the ready, Commander. Waiting orders. Now that we have track on our enemy, we can start setting up our shot. A target reference point is a type of signal which are visible to everyone on your team. There are lots of different signals which can be used to indicate positions to the other commanders on your team. A TRP is a special type which can be used in conjunction with missile orders. By placing a TRP, we can use it to create a dogleg or kink in our missile's flight path when firing in track mode. Because of this, you can only use this method when you actually have a sensor track on the enemy. Plotting waypoints by position is still the only way to arrange an attack on a suspected enemy location. Go into the tactical view by hitting spacebar, and let's take a look at the geometry of this situation. We have two friendly ships in the battle space, one relaying targeting data to the other, and one enemy ship occluded from our shooter by a large asteroid. This is a situation you'll probably find yourself in frequently. In order to make the attack on the ship without exposing the dusty tome, we'll need to pick a location for our TRP, which creates two unobstructed lines. The first line is between the dusty tome and the TRP, and the second line is between the TRP and the target. This forms a triangle, with one leg being between the shooter and the target, and the other legs forming the flight path the missile will actually take. Open the action menu by right-clicking in space. You will need to have a ship selected for this. At the bottom of the menu, you'll see the Signal tab. Under the Signal menu, you'll find the Target Reference Point button, labeled as TRP. Click it to start issuing the order. This is your standard Dial Position Selection widget. Use it to select a point to place the TRP that creates the two unobstructed lines I mentioned earlier. One from the Dusty Tome to the TRP, and one from the TRP to the target. If you didn't get a great placement, don't worry about it. You can just place another. All signals stay active for two and a half minutes before disappearing automatically. When you're ready to continue, select the ANS Dusty ahead, Tome man. and open the action menu in track mode on the target ship. All right, time to select our missile and arrange the salvo. Open the WEP menu. The Dusty Tome is carrying the Thunderhead Active Radar Homing Missile and the Hurricane Command Guided Missile. Note that under their names, information about the missile is listed, including their guidance computer type. 
The Thunderhead has a cruise guidance module, meaning it is waypoint capable. A Hurricane is a direct guidance system, meaning it is not, and we can't use it for this strike. Select the SGM-206 Thunderhead missile. Queuing up missile shots is the same as we've done before, but now we have an extra input to add. By holding the left control key and clicking the left mouse button, we can designate the TRP we want to use. We can only designate one. Clicking the same TRP twice will clear the selected point. This can be done at any time while queuing missiles. Notice the yellow line from the firing ship to the TRP, indicating it is selected as a VIA point. Select the TRP you placed at the VIA point, and then fire at least four missiles at the target. I'll wait until you get a hit. Outgoing missile. Ready whenever you are. Waiting orders. Got you five by five. Missile out. Great job. Target reference points are a great tool for arranging quick strikes around obstacles on a target you have a valid sensor track on. That covers it for this lesson. I'll see you back at the academy. Hazel out. <laughs>